People often ask me, what makes a wine 100 points? And of course, there are technical criteria that make a wine 100 points. And those are all accepted, whether from whether there's amazing aromas or it's perfectly structured and balanced in harmony. It has a very, very long finish. But there's also that emotional side where you taste it and you just feel something. It touches your heart. You just know it's great. That's the subjective part of being a critic. You just feel it. And sometimes people say, wow, uh, James gives quite a few 100 points. And maybe now that I'm older with all those experiences, when I taste something amazing, I just want to tell the world. And that's been one of the most satisfying things is that today, there's so many places making wine. There's so many amazing winemakers out there. There's amazing places. There's places that we don't even know about yet. And so it's never been a better time to be a wine critic, but more important, a better time to drink wine, be a wine consumer, a wine lover. I think there's many perfect wines. Winemaking has improved so much in recent years, and there's been many excellent vintages and so there's many perfect wines and many clearly outstanding wines. And that's all good news for wine lovers.